light rail, high speed rail. What's the differences? Um, that is a uh, question we hear all the time. And uh, Hampton Roads is generally speaking a little late in picking up on all this rail stuff. But I think we're going to recover fast, and we certainly need to know the difference. There's no conflict, but there is a difference between light rail and passenger rail. Although there's a difference, there's an enormous interrelationship and interdependence. So let me try to make sense out of this. And one way I'll try to do that is light rail is managed and architected at the national level all over the country by the Federal Transit Administration, whereas passenger rail is architected and managed by the Federal Rail Administration, Railroad Administration, FTA and FRA. I'm former Navy, and I can tell you that the difference between FTA and FRA is bigger than the difference between the Army and the Navy. So when you work on light rail, you need to have this school of thought. And when you work on passenger rail, you need to have this school of thought. There's lots of differences. For example, FTA analytics and calculations focuses on population one quarter mile around all these little light rail stations. FRA has a different logic. When they look at populations, they look at corridor populations. Nine million people in the corridor between Washington, D.C. and Hampton Roads. That's a huge thing, fourth largest in the nation. It's, it's ripe for quality passenger rail. FRA looks at corridors and at regions, populations. There's lots of analytic differences, but there's an interrelationship also. Because at the end of the day, America, our country, is trying to build an effective and efficient multimodal system. Freight, rail, buses, roads, bridges. Multimodal is the key word for those of us thinking about either light rail or passenger rail. And in Hampton Roads, magically, we've got Harbor Park with light rail and passenger rail and ferries and buses. Multimodal, perfect. There is an interdependence. When FRA looks at all these hundreds of grants that come in around the country for funding, they give extra points to those regions whose grants indicate the presence of light rail. In other words, the presence of light rail promotes the likelihood, and FRA knows this, of funding passenger rail. Actually, that goes both ways. And so, it also depends upon quality. Quality light rail will help develop quality passenger rail, and vice versa. In Hampton Roads, our team of researchers, it may, different in di may be different in other areas, but in Hampton Roads, we've come to believe that the importance of the Golden Crescent passenger rail is so huge that it's, in our case, it's going to be passenger rail that helps light rail more than the other way around. But frankly, they both help each other. Or if we have low quality rail and only start up passenger rail, they could harm each other. This whole topic, your book club, your Civic League, all around Hampton Roads, people should be talking about this interdependence so that they better understand what we need to do on the passenger rail side to move from startup to mature.